In this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock your Redmi, Xiaomi or Poco devices bootloader if you're doing it the very first time. Remember, this is the first step that you have to do before you want to root your device or install any custom ROM. Usually, Xiaomi used to have a waiting period of one week, but I've heard there is an unlock tool which is not official, but it can unlock the bootloaders right away. So that's the one that I'm going to test in this video. And if I'm successful, my phone's bootloader will be unlocked right away. But if I'm not, you would not be seeing this video online. So let's see and hope for the best. And without wasting any time, let's start the video. Now, before you attempt to even unlock this phone, make sure you have backed up everything which is present on your phone. Because if you don't do that, and if you fail to do that, after unlocking your bootloader, everything which is present on your phone will completely get wiped off, including all the apps and images and data, everything. So make sure you do that. Once you have done that, follow these steps. So basically you have to go to your settings and in this me account section, make sure you have added your me account here and the account that you're adding, make sure you also write that account number here because you will need this to log into me flash on your PC. So once you have done this, you have added your me account. The second thing that you have to go to is developers option. Now, if you don't have this developer option enabled, you have to go to about phone section. Once you are there in MIUI version, you have to continuously tap on MIUI version here and you will be having a pop up saying like you have tap five times, four times, three times, two times, one time. Congratulations, you are a developer, something like that will be there. So once you have that message, you can head back. No need, you are already a developer, just like it is showing this, you will have, uh, you are now a developer, something like that. So once you have done that, you have to go to additional settings and then you'll be able to see this developer option. Make sure you enable it first. Second thing is make sure you also enable this OEM unlocking. So that has to be enabled. Then make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off and your internet connection of your mobile data is required to do this. So make sure you have the mobile internet plan available. So I have turned that on. And once you turn this OEM unlocking, it will give you some warning like these are the hazards to do it. Let it pass and then click on allow or unlock. And once you have done that, click on me unlock status and it will show you here permissions required. Click on agree. Now that pop up that I have pressed is really annoying. But basically, once you come here, you will be able to see your device is locked and the phone is secure. You can see this add account and device button. So all you have to do is click here and it's going to prepare to add account and device. Once it says this message saying added successfully, me account is now linked with the device. You're good to proceed. But if in case you're failing to do that, make sure your find my phone is turned off or find my device is turned off. And the way to find that is if you go to settings here and you search find, you'll be able to see that setting pop up here. So here you have to make sure that this stays turned off. If it is on, it's not going to work. And second of all, you need to have internet connection or your mobile phone for that to work. If both of the things you have completed and still doesn't work, restart your mobile phone and try doing that. And make sure once your mobile is binded, with your me account, you do not remove your SIM card or you do not factory format your phone else you have to do all these things again. But yes, once it is done, make sure your phone is connected with a USB cable, a good quality USB cable because you don't want it to move in the middle of the process with your PC. And once you have done that, you have to turn your phone off. And once it is turned off, make sure you press the volume down button and power button simultaneously. You'll be able to see this bunny logo here, which means that your phone is now in fast boot mode. Once you have this done, all you have to do is move to your PC and download this Mi Flash Unlock, which is a modded version, which will not require any waiting time. So after you're here, make sure you click on this Mi Flash Unlock.exe. Once you launch it, you have to agree with it and here it will be asking you to log into the me account. Make sure here whatever me account you are logging is the same as that on your mobile phone. So at some point it can even ask you to enter the password and that password would be your me accounts password. But at times it also asks for the OTP to be sent to your mobile phone. So I recommend you log in first on your on your PC 
before you attempting to turn off your phone because the OTP is gonna come on the same SIM card. I'll click on accept, I'll log in. Once you have done that, make sure that me account is the same as that of your phone. So basically the same account which is logged in the same phone that you want to unlock the bootloader has to be logged in in this tool. And once you have that, make sure your phone is connected in fast boot mode and then click on unlock. It's going to give you four warnings. So basically first one, three to four warnings, I think. Unlock anyways, that's going to be the second one that your phone is more susceptible to any malware. Click on unlock, unlock anyways, and it's going to make this counter. It says please unlock 146 hours later and do not add else. It's not going to work at all. So hence verified the process is a failure and will not be able to unlock instantly anymore or I don't know if it was actually working or not but some people said it was working but right now as of now it's not working. It's really rare that I failed during a video but it's mostly because I was not having the experience myself and that now I tried that tool myself. I know the tool doesn't work. I had this word from a couple of people actually like who said like they tried it and it unlocked their phone instantly. But as you saw in the video, when I tried doing it, it didn't work at all. So I would not recommend you to waste any time in there. Yes, there will be billions of videos on YouTube claiming that it instantly unlocks, but most of that is just a clickbait. So basically they're only doing that so that people click on the video. And the way that they are shooting is, is because they might be already applying for the permission seven days before recording the video. Because while you are unlocking, it doesn't mention anywhere that you have already applied the permission or not. And that's how when they click on unlock, it instantly gets unlocked because seven days before they might have already unlocked, like applied for the unlocking permission. And so that video does not make any sense to me. And those mostly are false because I've already tried like seven mode applications and official one, of course, which gave me 168 hours of waiting time. I don't have any other options rather than waiting 168 hours. If you guys are interested to still see a video of how to unlock a bootloader of Xiaomi, Redmi and Poco device, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Because if you are letting me know, next Saturday that 168 hours will be complete and then I'll make the video again using the official Mi unlock tool. Because unofficial ways will not work at all no matter what. This was somewhat of a disappointment to me because I usually don't trust any source unless I try it myself and we tried it ourselves. This was not supposed to be there on the YouTube after I failed, but I'm just putting it there so that every one of you knows not to trust or waste your time doing all these things because it's somewhere gonna end up in getting you frustrated. If you enjoyed this video, I don't think you would, but still if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to join, click on subscribe and become the part of the family because here we reveal some myths and we also test a lot of things and product reviews are always there on the lineup. I'll be catching you guys next time in another video. Until then, you take care and be safe. Peace.